Hi everybody, welcome to the Kids Activity Corner. Today we are going to be making some basic crafts with popsicle sticks. Um, now, there's three different kinds that I recommend. You can get regular size popsicle sticks. You can get jumbo size popsicle sticks. You can also get some pre-painted popsicle sticks. Now you don't have to go out and buy these. If you'd like, you can just paint normal sticks ahead of time. Some crafts work better with jumbo sticks some with regular sticks, and I'll let you know before each craft what I recommend using. But most of them you can do with either or, depending on what you have at home. Also make sure you have some glue on hand. I'm going to be using hot glue, but you can use just plain old white glue as well. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, for our first craft we are going to make a superhero. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need one popsicle stick. I'm going to use a jumbo one for this one, but you can use a regular size one, that's fine. You're going to use a cupcake liner. And you're going to need something to decorate your craft with. I've got some wiggly eyes and a pen here. So to start, you're going to want to take your cupcake liner and flatten it out. Then you're going to go and take the top and fold it so you have something more of a triangle shape. Like so. This is going to be your superhero's cape. So next, I'm going to take my glue the line right down the middle okay. and put my popsicle stick right on top of that. You're not going to put it directly at the top because I want to make sure that my superhero has a head. So that is the base. The rest is up to you. I'm going to give my hero a mask, I think. There we go. A little bit more of a mask. There we go. And a smiley face and an S for super. But my hero needs some eyes as well, so I'm just gonna put some googly eyes on there. Oops. Stay. There we go. Boop. And we are ready to fight crime. <sighs> Alright, for our next craft we are going to make a face. Uh, you're going to need just a bunch of sticks, any size. Uh, you can use big ones, small ones. It doesn't really matter up to you. I'm going to use jumbo ones again. I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to line up for my base. Uh, now this is up to you. If you want to have a thicker face, you can add more. If you want it thinner, you can add some more. You're going to need one more for the brim of your character's hat. I like to put mine at a little jaunty angle. And again, the depends where you put uh, the stick, how tall your hat is or how long or short your face is. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to put the glue on my stick, like so. And I'm going to put my brim at a jaunty angle, like so. And I'll keep all the rest of those in place. So there you have the base of your face. Now in the winter, you can paint this part white and this part black. You can have a snowman. But since it's getting to be fall, I made a scarecrow. Okay, for our next craft, we are going to make a puzzle. For this, you're going to need eight to nine sticks. For this one, I do recommend jumbo sticks, but you can use whatever you like. Uh, you'll need some tape, and you're going to need something to decorate with. I'm just going to use a pen for this one. So take your sticks, and just line them up. It's nice and row like that. Take your tape, and just go ahead and tape it on both ends. So they're nice and straight and together. There we go. Now if you like, you can on the back, you can number your sticks, one through eight or nine, however many you have. Let's skip that part for now. Then flip it over. Now on this end you're going to want to draw a picture of some sort. Um, the best one will cover all of the sticks. So I'm going to draw a flower because that tends to work pretty well. Let's see, most of my lines are going to go over multiple sticks, so it'll make it a little bit easier to put your puzzle together. And if you put your numbers on the back of your sticks, that's kind of your answer key in case someone can't figure it out, or if you need a reminder. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Here's my flower picture. When you're ready to do the puzzle, take tape off, toss that aside, and jumble up your sticks. Your drawing will be scattered and you 
or a friend or family member can do the puzzle for you. For our next craft, we are going to be making a star. What you need for this is five sticks. I like regular size ones for this and some glue. Now with this one, you may want to paint your sticks ahead of time or use pre-painted sticks if you want to make them a different color. You can paint it when you're done, but maybe a little more tidy if you do it beforehand. So start with three of your sticks and make an A shape. I'm going to glue. This one can be a little bit tricky, so you may want to lay out your star before you start gluing, but we're just going to go for it. There we go. Okay, as I said, we will start with an A shape. Then we're going to connect the opposite ends here and here and here and here. So put a little dab of glue on each end and take your other sticks and just cross them like so. And there you have a star. All right, for our next craft, we are going to make a catapult. This one I do recommend jumbo sticks for, just makes things work a little bit easier. You're going to need nine sticks total and three rubber bands. Now, optionally, you may want a spoon or um, like a bottle cap to put on the end of your launcher, but that's, it's not necessary. That's more if you, if you want to do it that way. So to start, set two of your sticks aside and stack up the other seven, like so. Go and take one of your rubber bands and close the end, like so. Take one of your sticks and slide it in just above the bottom stick there. And take a second rubber band Put that in place there. Now move your um, outside stick here just a bit so that it's that sits right in the middle. And you're going to take your final stick and rubber band it down at the bottom so these two sticking out are attached. Just like this. Okay. Once you've done that, push your two sticks back as far as they can go, like this. And there you are. If you like, you can rubber band a spoon to the end or glue a bottle cap. They'll help you launch your catapult. All right, for our next craft, we are going to be making a bird feeder. And again, for this one, if you want to make it different colors, I would recommend getting pre-colored sticks or painting them beforehand. You're going to need about 31 sticks. I'm going to use regular sticks for this one. You're also going to need some glue. So to start, count out six sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Line them up, kind of like we did with the face. Get a little more even. There we go. You're going to put a line of glue across the top and the bottom. Then you're going to take two more sticks Set one here and one here to hold those in place. So kind of like we did with the face, but you know, on both sides this time. Now we're going to start building up our bird feeder. I'm going to put a dot of glue here, 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 and here, lining up with our first sticks and set them down like so. You can see it's kind of starting to take shape. If you want to put a perch for your birds, now is the time to do that. Put a little dot of glue right in the middle of one of these that you just put down. Put it back a little further if you want a little more support. Just glue it down right there, like so. Next, Put some more glue. And put two more, the opposite ends of the one you just placed before your perch. Yeah. And just keep building 
your birdhouse up like that until it is as tall as you like it. So this one has six layers. As you can see, I did this one in a rainbow color, so that was pretty. Then you're going to take some twine, tie it up, put it in a tree, fill it with seed, and there you have a bird feeder. All right, for our last craft, we're going to make a raft. For this, you can use either jumbo or regular sticks. If you're going to use jumbo sticks, like I am here, you're going to need 24 sticks. If you're using regular size, you're going to need about 32 sticks. Optionally, you'll need something to decorate your raft with. So again, if you want to paint these beforehand, you can do that, or you can decorate it at the end. Uh, you may also want to get one extra stick and either some felt or construction paper so you can make a flag. That is up to you. And of course, you're going to need some glue as well. So to start, you're going to lay out the bottom layer of your raft. So if you are using jumbo sticks, you're going to lay out eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. If you are using regular size popsicle sticks, you're going to use 12 sticks. I'm using jumbo, so I'm going to use eight. Just line them up like so. Oops. Then you're going to take four sticks and lay them across the top, the bottom, and two in the middle, like so. One, two, three, and four. Okay. And once you've done that, we're going to do another layer on top. So again, I'll use eight for this. And if I was using regular size popsicle sticks, we would use 12. So I'm just going to put more glue on each of these sticks. And start putting down a second layer like so. Okay, and once you have your next layer down, you see it kind of looks a little bit like a popsicle stick sandwich there. Next, we are going to put an edge on our boat. You may want to trim the very ends of your sticks off so they'll fit a little better, have an adult help you with that. Or you can kind of put them in a little bit of a dag. Oops, like so. Which is what I'm going to do with mine. Here, I'm going to put just a little bit more glue in my corners. Let's keep them a little sturdy. There we go. And there you have your raft. Once you've finished your raft, find a tub of water or fill up the sink or bathtub and take it for a spin. You may even want to give your raft some passengers, like so. Thank you for joining us for this month's Activity Corner. Hope you found something that you would enjoy making. Feel free to share pictures with us on Facebook of some of the crafts you've made. Until then, have fun and see you next time.